story story time guys so your boy finally went to a church right this is my first time of going to a church don't worry i have physical evidence and i have video proof that i went to that church i mean it depends on what you describe as going to a church right if you mean like to just go to the church whether you went there early or mid service or when they were giving thanksgiving right it's classified as you went to a church on Sunday, right? And I'm proud of myself. So don't ask me which one I classify under. Please just know that I went to a church this Sunday. I think today is 17th, right? 17th of February, guys. I went to a church. Is it 17th? Yeah, 17th. I don't know. 17th or 16th? Yeah, today is 16th of February. Sorry, guys. So the whole story started up with like my mom has been patiently reminding me to go to church for quite a while and this is my first time I've been to church in almost over a year or under a year last year I totally like went to church twice in the whole of last year right so my mom has been patiently reminding me about church and my dad sometimes asks me what happened on Sunday because I call them weekly now I don't stay with them <laughs> yeah I don't stay with them I'm not paying house rent anyway so <clears throat> Wow, CIE censorship is happening here. So yeah, I call them weekly and every time I call them, either Monday, Sunday, right? And they always ask them about, did you go to church? Or what happened at church? That kind of situation. And I'm always like, no, because I don't like lying to my parents, to be honest. So I just tell them the truth and deal with it, which is very, very painful in terms of like, why didn't you not go to church? Yeah. Are you a pagan? That kind of thing. So I'm not a pagan and yeah. So in order to like silence this questioning for like, let's say six more months or for the whole of this year, I decided to go to church and I decided to like make a whole big deal about going to church this time around this year, post it on all social media platforms and probably send them the video I have, I'll show you guys the video, the video and the pictures of me being in that church and that kind of thing, even holding my Bible, like guys, I have a yellow Bible, I don't know, yes, yeah, this is my, this is my Bible that I was forced to buy, or forced to take, so when I was traveling, so I have my Bible with me, I took it to the church, I went to the Holy, um, Holy Trinity Church in Abuja here, don't worry, I'll tell you where it is particularly, so, um, before I got the courage or the special oomph to go to that church, um, my colleagues here, where I stay right now, were like, Oh, Kenneth, you don't go to church. What's happening? You are, your Christianity is there, that kind of thing. Like, we're always sitting in the house on Sunday. Where is the church you're going to? Blah, blah, blah. What are you? Let's go to there's this the biggest church in Africa or something like that. It's also here in Abuja. I was like, No, I'll probably go to Catholic church. Then I was like, but do you guys know any church here um, in Abuja? And they were like, oh, there are plenty of churches here. You could go to Holy Trinity Church in Maithama. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a nice idea. That means I have to go to church and I'll take pictures with all the rich people and like blast them on WhatsApp status and be like, oh, guys, I've blown. I'm taking pictures of people that own Ferrari and Lamborghinis and Range Rover. You know, like the church is the church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of, like making jokes and uh, like I'm not serious and stuff and blah 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 but meanwhile little didn't know that I was dead serious <laughs> right so I finally go to this church and the church itself is cool like any other church I mean it's a Catholic church so there's a little bit of fancy smashy kind of thing going on there but I'm not here to like criticize or make fun of the establishment obviously so I'm just going to say what I was at. I went there, I feel bad for saying this, I went there almost, um, I went there close to the closing of the church, due to the fact that I don't know when the mass starts, like I don't know what time it starts, so I just was like tired on bed, booked an Uber, and I was like, let's go to the church finally. Went there, the church was nice, like nice atmosphere and stuff, it was a little bit awkward finding seats because it was almost all filled up, and I was like begging people which I don't like doing and what happened people were all dressed up decked up and I was surprised like uh, there was a photographer in the church was surprised in the church I, I, which is due to Thanksgiving um, that they normally do in the church and it makes sense that a photographer there but that lady she had a red bull um, red cap and it was beautiful 
and that was it then going to the church from where i stay is like four ish kilometers and i was like oh nice idea i would go to the church use an uber going to the church then when coming back in my pink fluffy hoodie i would trek you get i would do hike i would hike my way back home i hiked my way back home watching and reading aloud very passionately the relics to the song monster by Nicki Minaj and it was a very very fun experience so there you have it guys i went to church right peace out see you in the next one